galvanised chassis on it as well, isn't there? There's a big galvanised chassis on it, which, to be honest, um, Hi, yeah, you. Not bad. It's all right, it's ours. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Top job. Instead of slabs, and then just to yeah, just to have a quick look inside. Machine, yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, that's under. That's just your sink. That's your dishwasher. That's the dishwasher, yeah. Yep. So just for two of us. And the washer's got burnt. No, no it's drawers there. there. What's in there then? You missed it. Yeah. No? Yeah. yeah. Your washing dry. Cool. Loads of switches and stuff. That's yeah. good. Nice candy yeah. top. Yeah. Wonderful. Ah, there's yeah, plenty yeah. beginning for those areas. Loads, loads. I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to be any drawers. Yeah, mm. so can't work that out. Must be coming separate, I guess. Yeah. A little more done, where the cars will go. <laughs> So, with the lodge not completed, we decided that we had to find somewhere for seven days. We decided on Ab Kettleby, which was quite central for our needs. Went there for seven days, nice little place, nearly 400 quid, but it had to be done. Well, the good news is, Robert J. Dutton, plumbers, pipes on the ground. Plumbing's three quarters done. Wonderful. Decking people, Bill's waiting for a call. He says that they should be here Thursday. Taking two days, that will all be done. Gas bottles are going on if you can't get the gas onto it. And the gas man is on his way this afternoon to have it all checked. JD. These needs adjustment. It's a new build, you're going to get this kind of thing. So be wary, lodge owners. You know, you will get this. Okay. That's what it is. We have a problem with the door now as well because as you shut it and that can be tightened up and then give it the handle but even with the handle closed it's still doing this and it looks like there's a, a fair old gap at the bottom there because all these things are obviously minor in consideration um, but it is what it is it's a brand new build and you're going to get these 
little things wrong. And then the doors around the back here, the double doors, are basically the same with the same issue. Oh, there as he jumps down and breaks his knees. I'll just walk you around here. Is that this is out of line at the top. But again, this is common. You can see from here this there's a step in the door to the right. This is lower than this one. Hello little dog. Evil, evil. Um, got these to latch, to latch back to here on these latches, which is good. But yeah, they've all got to be adjusted. LEDs across the top. And then I have now got very good internet. And there you go. So all this decking should be up. And I'll show you the end results of it. Hopefully Monday night, Tuesday night. After the first night we moved in, there was a lot to consider and do. We found that there was a few bits and bobs to sort out and we were making a list of things that needed to be sorted. Little things like marks on a door handle. And on the second night, I went in the shower, Deborah went in the shower straight after me. It went freezing cold. A big pipe had come undone underneath the lodge and the connections weren't done correctly or properly. So Bill, the uh, site owner, good of him, uh, text him. Following morning on a Sunday, he got someone out to come and repair it, which was great. And that was put right within 10 minutes. It was just a pipe underneath. It's all the simple, small things, even down to when we used the shower, it leaked. Uh, we couldn't get, get the glass panels to meet on the magnet. That turned out to be the pressed on rubber seals and magnet to one side had been put on wrong. So what I had to do is take them off and put them on correct myself. So that's me some shortcomings and oh, one more that I've just remembered. In the kitchen, for example, there was three switches all marked up to do certain things and all, th all three were wrong. Um, the cooker hob made the extractor work, the extractor switch made something else work and that all had to be sorted. Um, that has now been sorted and again thanks to Bill, he was the one who, as soon as you tell him something's wrong he gets it sorted straight away so that's great. Um, they've still got to come back because even the lights underneath the kitchen, uh, the little LEDs, there's about four of them, they weren't working so they've got to come back and do them. That's not going to cost us anything obviously. But then I've got my EV charger. Now I can't charge my car up at the moment. I'm going to use a granny charger, which ain't great. Uh, just over two kilowatts an hour to charge it. And now with this Tesla I've got, with the huge 60 kilowatt or whatever it is battery in it, it obviously takes a long time with a granny charger. So I've got the electrician coming back to put an extra unit in, and I'll show you that. Just to show you while I'm here, this is how the electric comes in and it's that way runs along the fence and then simply hooks up here the downer i've got having an electric car of course is the fact that i can only charge it with a seven kilowatt charger if everything else is turned off else it could trip that out and i can't get another bit of power to it for this so i'm using granny chargers which is 2.2 kilowatt an hour, which would not then trip it out. This is where the gas comes in, the proper meter for gas. This is what tripped out last night because of low, pre low water pressure to it. Bummer, but there you go. Well, not to that, but to the actual gas boiler itself. Very efficient though, very good. Red hot within a couple of minutes and uh, yeah, just because all, it's all brand new. So that's the layout of ours. Decking's just being finished now. Uh, Bung to the shed up and some of my stuff in there. This here is the tour inside. Not many here, just a regular weekend. Let me just go up on the decking, which is partly finished, as you can see. And without zooming in on this thing, that is the view. No, I get every morning the highest parts of Leicestershire. Stunning. So yeah, we're getting there. It's now that first week uh, was a learning curve, and I think most people on here, and even Bill to a point, as um, 
has had a good education from these things because it's all new for all of us. But yeah, getting there and things are looking good. While I'm filming this now and talking about this, we've now been here eight weeks, so there's a lot to show you that goes up to that eight week and what we did. And that's even put my own TV aerial up and everything else. You've got to remember, these things come base. These things come just as they lodge. And then you buy the lease uh, for a 10 or 20 year period. Uh, this particular site is a 20 year lease. Your ground fees and your water are all in with a, with a fixed price. And also your maintenance of going around and doing all the grass areas and they've all been done today so yeah i'm jumping forward now and you i'm actually filming this eight weeks in it'll be eight weeks this friday but i'm going to put it on this one just to give you an idea of what's been happening for this very first week confusing i know so there you go that's lodge life so far well that kind of wraps up lodge life number two uh planning would have come on the channel it's a lifestyle thing that we've adhered to and we are going to stick to same as the EVs, so hopefully it's you know an enjoyable thing to watch. Even if you're into the EV thing of our channel, this is the Lodge Life side. Any newbies that have uh, joined us, welcome. And if you're welcome purely for the Lodge Life, great of you. And if you've not subscribed, please, please do to the channel, KK and EV family. And if you've not been here before, where have you been? I say it every time. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for all the subscribers that are already there, and I hope you enjoy Lodge Life as much as we do making it for you. Later. Mm -hmm.